Hello everybody. There is a lot of conversation around AI is going to take over the world and there are no more jobs left. There are also ads which say say don't hire humans, rather hire AI, AI employees. But in this video, I want to highlight that there are definitely professions, including the software world, where AI is not going to replace humans. And AI is definitely not a competition in those scenarios. And I want to talk about what those kind of professions are, where even within the software world, that you can try to be in a position where AI is not going to take over your job and make your career a lot more resilient and kind of AI proof. So the first career I want to talk about is into the data space, data scientist, data analytics. Now AI is as good as the data, underlying data, because all the AI models that we know, chat GPTs of the world, Gemini, all these things are built on some foundational data models. But when you go into any organization, the organization has its own data, right? How many people it is selling to, what is it selling to, the price, the promotions that are running, and all this data typically is not so clean. And when the data itself is not clean, what kind of AI can work on those data sets? And that is one of the fundamental reasons right now that companies around the world, big businesses are struggling to adopt AI within their businesses. And hence, they need people who can clean the data. They need people who can help interpret that messy data, take out all the bad parts and still give some insight from the good data. So the data interpretation, data analytics, data scientist world is still going to be a very, very strong career option going forward. Because not only just analyzing the data, you also need to analyze the data that is going into the AI models, right? So as long as the AI revolution is continuing to grow, you need data scientists. So that is one definite area where it's kind of you are immune to the entire overall AI hype. The second career that I want to talk about is where the cost of failure is extremely high, right? If AI is able to give you 99% of the right result, there are a lot of situations where you don't care. For example, hey, what is my travel itinerary? For example, you can ask, hey, I'm going to Japan. What should be my four day travel trip look like? And it might give you a 99% correct answer, 90% correct answer. You don't really care too much, but if you have a dispute on a property and if you are basically battling that in the court, you want to make sure that the lawyer is 100% accurate with the facts, how they are presenting the case. So the cost of failure in that scenario is extremely high. AI is not going to replace those kind of careers because somebody has to take the ownership. Somebody has to take the ownership of the decision making. Somebody has to take the ownership of the final answer the accountability comes into picture. A machine won't take that accountability, right? Machine will say, there is always a terms and conditions box below saying that, hey, please check your results before you apply, right? Always. So lawyers, the other good career path is doctors, right? I don't mean to say that, hey, don't learn AI. Definitely do learn AI. And you can apply AI in each one of these things. Harvey AI, classical, right? You are still a lawyer you still are basically paid big bucks, but you are doing your work much more efficiently. AI is going to come and replace a lot of jobs, but these type of jobs, very, very, very difficult. I would rather hire a human as a lawyer if I want to fight out a case, but not an AI which is hands off. That being said, I still want to encourage you to learn AI. There are a lot of software roles within AI. For example, you need prompt engineers. You need people who can build retrieval augmented generation kind of models. You need people who are designing things on top of AI to make the entire UX user friendly. Lot of careers which are basically building on top of AI. So if you are looking to learn AI, would like to introduce the partners for today's video, Odin School. Odin School has launched a certification program in Applied Generative AI course in collaboration with E&ICT Academy, IIT Gauhati. It's a live instructor-led course where you master generative AI tools, NLP and RAG-based workflows through hands-on training designed for real-world impact. These are not just theoretical concepts, but you will actually be executing them on a variety of practical projects. You will also learn a set of in-demand tools used by data professionals. Once you complete the course, you will be certified by the ENICT Academy IIT Gohati and along with that, you also get the course completion certificate. This course is taught by the mentors from the academic world 
and also experts from the corporate world. And once you complete the program, you will be eligible for their holistic placement support and you will have a lot of mock interviews and behavioral interviews, preparing you for a variety of AI-based roles. Regarding the course fee, you have options to pay through monthly EMIs. Highly recommended program, so please go ahead and check out the program through the link in the description. Now, coming back into the video, one of the other career paths which is definitely, definitely resilient to any type of AI or automation, in fact, is sales. Why? Because when you are buying something, especially if you are selling to a business, right? Businesses don't buy from AI. Businesses buy based on trust. You need to build that trust. You need to build that overall relationship. And that trust relationship cannot be established with a machine. You need to go meet in person. That is the reason why there are a lot of conferences. There are a lot of events where people still go interact with others, make that buying calls there. They hit on the right emotions. They hit on the right actual needs of the customer. And all of these things happen in-person conversations. Again, sales is a great career. A lot of people say, hey, I don't want to do sales because people still believe that sales is like selling shampoos in 1990s. No, selling B2B enterprise products is actually a great skill. You need to understand the software. You need to understand the client. And there is a lot of money to be made as well over there. So if there is one profession which is kind of recession-proof, AI-proof, and will help you like grow in the long run is definitely sales. Be a good sales guy in any one industry that you really prefer to be in. And that's a good starting point. The other career path, which is again kind of getting replaced by AI, but still you really can't replace completely with AI is content creation, right? For example, you can take me out. I can replace myself with my AI avatar and come in front of you, but still, my angles, my perspectives are very, very personal to me. Nobody else has similar perspectives. They might be similar, but they are not as nuanced and exactly match my, my way of thinking, right? So every individual has their own set of thinking, their own ways, but machine is based on past data and it is making generalized patterns. So good content creation will have space. Otherwise, what happens? AI will create the content, AI will deliver the content, AI agents will like the content or comment on the content and it will become an AI world where what will humans do, right? But to add real value, you still need that perspective from an individual. So content creators is again another great place. So again, content creators, comedians, copywriters, educators, this is where individual perspectives matter a lot and in these places, hard to replace the human out of the loop. Now, one additional career which I also want to highlight is where there is a lot of dilemma in decision making. For example, there is a lot of, instead of just pure data numbers, you have to take a moral compass, right? Policy making, classic example, right? There is no right or wrong answer. Based on the situation, you need to make decisions. So policy makers kind of job is very hard to be replaced by AI. Across all the jobs that we discussed, I think AI can come in if you are looking forward to build a career, including software, right? Everywhere AI can come in and help you out. And most of the times these professions are going to evolve into something called as AI plus human in the loop. That's the new way of working going forward. It's not completely AI, neither it's completely human. It is AI plus human in the loop because there are two major advantages for the companies. Number one, the speed with which the work is getting done is massively increasing. And number two, the cost to actually get to an outcome is also reducing day by day for the company. So they are hitting two balls out of the park with one single AI implementation. And that is why all the careers that we discussed so far and majority of the software jobs as well were we talked about prompt engineering, rag modeling, model fine tuning, all these things are going to be AI plus human in the loop. So I hope you are not too worried about what's going to come through AI, but you should be as prepared as you can be. Thank you so much guys. We'll see you again in the next one. Bye bye.